high there. Drawing Lewis dot structures of free radicals is as straightforward as I explained in my clip for basic Lewis structures. Differences arise in the fact that we have to cope with single electrons on the molecule and that we have to use formal charge calculation extensively in order to choose the correct structure. Let me illustrate this with, as an example, chlorine dioxide. With chlorine as the least electronegative element in the center, we obtain this structure with a radical electron plus an unbonded electron pair on an electron deficient chlorine atom. Formal charge calculation gives a negative formal charge for each oxygen and a plus 2 value for chlorine. The non-zero charges on all atoms incite us to look for a better solution for the structure. Like this. We arrange the electrons in such a way that we create double bonds between oxygen and chlorine. In the resulting structure, chlorine still features a lone electron pair and a radical electron. Formal charge calculation gives for oxygen 6 minus 4 minus 4 divided by 2, 0 formal charge. For chlorine, we have 7 minus 3 minus 8 divided by 2, also a 0 formal charge. So, this structure is the correct one, although chlorine is hypervalent and there are more bonds than in the former structure. Another example is dioxygen, which is generally represented like this. There are octets around the oxygen atoms and all the formal charges are zero. So far, so good. Nevertheless, there is an alternative structure to this featuring a diradical. We draw the Lewis structure like this, with a single bond between the oxygens and two radical electrons on the outside of the molecule. Formal charges are zero here as well. An important argument in favor of this structure is the high reactivity of dioxygen ascribed to the radical electrons and the fact that there is only one bond compared to the foregoing structure. A last example is a radical that is easily obtained through the decomposition of benzoyl peroxide. It plays an important role in polymerization reactions. Its Lewis structure draws like this, with carbon in the center, I substitute R for the benzene ring. Adding the oxygens, we see that one forms a double bond, whereas the other forms only a single bond, with one radical electron remaining on the oxygen atom. Formal charge calculation gives zero for all the atoms. And although the octet rule is not obeyed for all atoms, this is the correct structure. In this last slide, I sum up the essentials when drawing Lewis dot structures of radical molecules, plus some useful links to two of my tutorials. Thanks for watching. See you again.